my channel. For those of you that don't know me already, my name is Gina Gohill. I'm a podiatrist based in London, UK, otherwise known as the Fed Scraper. So, if you haven't already joined the family, don't forget to subscribe. And without further ado, let's get to the question. How do you get a fungal nail infection? So fungal nail infections are incredibly common, more so in the toes rather than your fingernails, according to the American Academy of Dermatology. And that's probably because of the things we're going to discuss in this video of how you actually get that in your feet. So the different reasons why you could get it is because fungi and bacteria naturally grow on the body and will be in on the skin, on your feet, on your hands, etc. And when they overgrow and they overpopulate, like so, what happens is then you get an infection. An infection can be on your skin, in your hair, and also in your nails and fingers. Fungal infections thrive in moist environments as well as warm environments. So these two as a combination can be found within our shoes. So we have socks, we have shoes that may not be breathable, so you get excess sweat which provides the moist environment and obviously the heat from the excess material on the shoes which provides the warm environment. When they overpopulate, things that you can get such as athlete's foot for example or that itch that you usually associate with or even ringworms can actually cause nail infections those are the most common reasons why you can get it also if you go to for example having nail salons where you might get um, a manicure or a pedicure those things are very common because they may not be sterilizing and using new tools for you so it's really important for you to ask how they sterilize it, how fresh it is, and making sure that you feel safe when you go to have these things. Now when they do start off, they're very subtle, so you might not be able to see that the infection has occurred. Who is at risk of getting nail infections? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a list over here so you can go back and refer to it should you need. So the key areas are someone who's over the age of 65, diabetes, having a nail injury, having a skin injury around the area, having poor circulation. Those are usually the very top, top, top most ones of them. Also, having a weakened immune system can also affect your risk of getting nail infections. Swimming pools or being in an environment that's moist for long extended periods of time can also cause that. Nail infections actually occur more commonly in men than they do in women, and more so in adults than they do in children. So it's always good either way to have a look and assess your feet. And if you think you have a nail infection, go see a podiatrist or come see me and then we can help you towards how you can clean up a bit. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'd love to hear your comments. So drop a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to everyone as soon as I can.